Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally OnePlus have started rolling out a new update for OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. So in today's video, let's find out what all changes OnePlus have done with this newer update for OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 8 on which I yesterday received the OTA update. First of all, let me show you the software information if you go to about section. Oxygen OS version is 13 and Android version now you can see we do get 5th Jan 2023 security patch and the version version is f.62 if you guys remember previous version of oneplus 8 series was somewhat f.13 or f.15 now we have a direct jump to f.16 and the way oneplus is releasing update for oneplus 8 series i am damn sure none of the oneplus 8 series device will get android 14 update guys before moving ahead if you like a content and if you think it's useful to you then make sure to subscribe and smash that like button First talking about the benchmark results, so as always this time also we did benchmark testing on this latest build single core have scored 1182 and multi core have scored 3224. When it comes to CPU throttling, I again notice throttling issues on my OnePlus 8 with the newer build also. And by the way guys, if you're planning to buy OnePlus 11, then we have made a detailed video of OnePlus 11 explaining you guys the positive and negatives. Make sure to watch that video before buying OnePlus 11. And if you guys have seen an in-depth review of previous build of Oxygen OS 13 for OnePlus 8 series, then in that I did mention issues related to auto brightness. But now I think auto brightness have been fixed and it's taken care. The auto brightness is a lot improved on this newer build. Wherein on previous build, we used to face some issues related to auto brightness, but now it's completely taken care by OnePlus. And I've always been mentioning in my every video about the new launcher update where you can edit the app icon and the app name and the same feature continues on this build also. From where you can make changes in the app icon by downloading custom icon packs and you can also make changes in the app name. Color shifting of HDR videos issues have still not been taken care and it's on almost every smartphone including OnePlus 11. So whenever you see volume panel popping up, you can see a shifting happening in colors on the screen. So this is what OnePlus needs to look into because it irritates a lot while watching HDR content. Also a lot of users have been reporting about the camera lag like for example recording the 4K video at 60 FPS or 60 frames per second the initial seconds the device used to lag. But here on this build I did not notice that issue. For me there is no lag while recording 4K at 60 FPS. You guys let us know in the comment section below whether it's been fixed on your device or not. After that another major issue which every OnePlus user was facing and thus led to the login issues of Red Cable Club. So that has also been taken care now you can easily log into Red Cable Club from the settings page itself. And now if we talk about the change logs, so for me the update size was around 1 GB and if you go to about section, let me show you the change logs, there's nothing much to showcase in this video. If you tap on about section here you can see these are the change logs which are related to system communication and connections. So when it comes to Bluetooth, I never faced any kind of issues on the previous build also. Mobile network, I'm not sure because right now I'm at rural area and here the mobile signal strength is not that good. Later they fixed the issue of notch data fail to sync with the cloud. So I have tested, I used to uh, take notes using the OnePlus stock notes application and I have never faced any kind of issues in taking backup. And at last they fixed the lock screen issue wherein the clock wasn't used to display fully on the lock screen. As per the change log that has been fixed. Again on my particular unit there were no issues at all. So guys these were some of the changes which I have noticed in my initial usage of this newer update for OnePlus 8 series. Also if you guys have any kind of questions let me know so that I'll be able to cover them in the review video. As of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.